Hi, this project is a demonstration of railway tracking and arrival time prediction. Railway tracking and arrival time prediction system will help commuters to get the information about train timing and also shows information whether train is on time or not. If the system finds any delay in train due to signal, it will automatically update the train timing in next station and will be displayed to viewers. Admin will enter the detail about trains and its timing and these details will be passed through internet server and is fetched by the system on other stations. And there will be another system which will show train timings to the viewers on platform. Second system will get all the timings of all trains but will automatically select the data that refers to particular station and shows that information on screen. The system works like when train departed late from a station, admin will enter details about departure and its time and these information goes in real time on internet server and retrieved on other system through internet server and shows the details on screen. This project publishes real time train schedule events to subscribing multiple client application. Let's see how the system works. There will be two people who will log into the system. One will be the admin and the one will be the supervisor. So let's see the admin module. Admin will lo log into the system using his ID and the pa password. So let's enter the ID and the password. So once the admin logins to the system, these are the vari various options he can access through. So let's see the train details module. The train number will be automatically generated by the system itself. So the admin must specify the source destination and all the details related to train. So let's enter the source and the destination. Let's enter Delhi and the destination name as Chennai. Here the admin must specify the number of days uh, the uh, journey could be held. So let's enter 2. And you must specify the departure as well as the arrival time at the destination. Uh, so the departure time, let's see, and the arrival time. Center. Once the admin clicks onto the calculate total duration, system will calculate automatically the total duration for the journey and it will be displayed to the admin and the admin must specify the number of halt stations uh, between the uh, between the source and the destination so you must specify the number of uh, halt stations let's enter 4 and the admin must specify the halt station as well as the time will arri arrival time on particular halt station as well as the days like on zero day one first day or second day you must specify like zero one two here you must specify the hall station name let's enter and their arrival time on particular hall station So these are the timings of the particular hall station. So once he clicks on to the submit button, once the admin clicks on to the submit button, these details will be uh, stored in the database and will be uh, reported to the particular uh, destination places, source and destination places. So let's see another one, the, uh, another module, train supervisor information module. Here the admin will specify the uh, supervisor information. There will be a uh, different supervisor available on particular stations. So they will have the ID and the password in order to log into the system and in order to specify the delay times as well as to view various arrival and the departure timing of particular trains. So the ID is automatically generated by the system itself and they must specify the following details. 
in every station there will be a supervisor who will use the system they will get an id and the password uh, this details will be will be given to them through their mail id so they will get the id and the password details through their mail id and they will use this id and the password in order to log into the system in order to update uh, any delay timings related to train uh, arrive and the they can view various train details their their arrival and the departure timing as well so here the id is automatically generated by the system itself here the admin must specify their name let's enter the name the station the particular supervisor is allotted and that station name suppose if i enter and the mobile number number there is an validation for this it should be 10 digit number and the mail id if they didn't enter proper mail id then an error message So once they click on admin clicks on to the submit button, the password will be generated and will be sent to the respective mail ID, supervisor's mail ID. So the data is submitted and is stored in the database and is mail is sent to the respective supervisor's mail ID. Let's see the view train details. Here the admin can view various trains he had specified. They are tra they are train number, source, departure destination the arrival timing and the number of call stations and uh, the duration for particular uh, train this is how the admin module works let's see the supervisor login its supervisor will be on a uh, different station they they will use their id and the password which they got from their mail id uh, so they will use this id and the password in order to log into the system now we will use the delhi location id and the password so the delhi supervisor will use their id and the password in order to log into the system so let's enter the id and the password of the delhi supervisor so once the supervisor logins to the system login is successful these are the various options you can access since this train number is shown over here which we had entered before, which the admin had entered before. So the supervisor once clicks on to the yes button over here, he can view the various details like their departure, the source, departure, destination place as well as the arrival time and the next station. This data will be shown to the supervisor. What will be the next station? It's Gujarat and their arrival time at that particular call station is 1925. And the total duration of the journey. Once he sees this, he can specify any delay timing if there is any. Like he can enter the delay, like suppose if I enter 20 minutes. So these details will be updated. The next station's arrival time as well as the arrival time of the destination. These details will be updated by the system itself, automatically updated. So once he clicks on to the submit button, these details will be updated and, to, and it will be shown to the next hall station so let's see the next hall station was Gujarat so we will enter the ID about of the Gujarat station ID and the password when the supervisor of Gujarat logins to the system once the super, Gujarat supervisor logins to the system so the login is successful you can view the train details when you click on to the train timing you can see over here the the delhi supervisor updated this uh, updated the details about the uh, train number 1004 so he had updated the delay timing as 20 minutes the train had been delayed so the gujarat station supervisor can view the arrival timing as well as the delay timing this is how the supervisor module works. There are various op options like train arrival details, train departure details as well as the train timings. This model can be accessed by the commuters who are on the platform who are on the station. They can view these details. Uh, so 
let's see the train arrival details they can view the train arrival timing by specifying the destination by clicking on to the destination listed over here since this train had been left let's see another one so these two trains are available of the following des destination let's see the train departure details over here the commuters can view various train departed from particular source they can they must specify the source station listed over here let's click on to the delhi here they can view the train number as well as the source and the departure timing as well as the total duration for particular time for particular train let's see the train timing module over here the user can view various train by specifying the train number listed over here let's click on to 1002 so there's a train available and this is the arrival time and uh, there's a delay of 20 minutes as well as the total duration of the journey this is how the railway tracking and the arrival time protection system works thank you